With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, so let's read the question. Statement 1, yeast is a multicellular fungus. Statement 2, penicillium is a unicellular fungus. Statement 3, albuco is a parasitic fungus on mustard. Okay. Option A, only statement 1 and 2 are correct. Option B, all the above statements are incorrect. Option C, only statement 3 is correct. And option D, both statement 1 and statement 3 are incorrect. Okay. So, let's start with first statement that is, yeast is a multicellular fungus. Okay. So, yeast is basically an exception to the group fungi because it is unicellular in nature. It is unicellular and eukaryotic in nature. And but it basically have all the other properties that a fungus has. Okay. It means that statement 1 is an incorrect statement. Okay. So the options which basically says that statement 1 is correct. It means this statement is absolutely incorrect. Right. Let's move on to the second statement that penicillium is a unicellular fungus. Okay. So when we talk about penicillium, penicillium is a fungus and it is majorly used to make an antibiotic which is known as penicillin okay penicillin is basically formed from this or produced from this fungus which is known as penicillium okay but this fungus is not unicellular fungus it is a multicellular fungus okay so it is a multicellular fungus it means statement 2 is also an incorrect statement okay then the last statement basically states that albuco is a parasitic fungus. Okay. So albuco is a very important parasitic fungus which is absolutely true. It is a parasitic fungus and this parasitic fungus is basically it grows on mustard and basically causes a disease. Okay. And this disease basically leads to spots on leaves. Okay causes spots on leaf it means that statement 3 is a absolutely correct statement it it means statement 1 and 2 are incorrect and statement 3 is correct and option c is correct that only statement 3 is correct because option b says that all of our statements are incorrect which is incorrect because statement 3 is correct and option d states that both statement 1 and 3 are incorrect which is incorrect okay so option c that is only statement 3 is correct is the correct option I hope this answers your question, students. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.